What up, what up? Tom T here with another episode of Comics and Cards, Together at Last. Hope everybody's having a good day. On the sports card side of it, we're going to be opening up this 1986 Topps Baseball Rack Pack that I've had in my stash since 1986, you guessed it. But, as always, we're going to start with comics. Now, these aren't super rare comics, super old comics, at least not to me, but some of you, maybe it is. But I really just like the artwork on the cover of these two, so that's why I grabbed them. We're going to start with the Amazing Spider-Man, number 82, released in March of 1970. Obviously, story by Stan Lee. Uh, John Romita is the artist. Peter's many troubles have become too much for him to handle. As Spider-Man, he meets with a group of television executives to negotiate an appearance on a late-night talk show. Coincidentally, the TV station has recently taken on a new janitor, Max Dillon, a.k.a. Electro. Keep an eye out for this issue. Very nice. This is a funny story on this issue. This is the last appearance of Harry Osborne's Fu Manchu in this issue. Who knew? Obviously, if you read the book, you might know. We'll go to comic number two now. We've got uh, Justice League of America, number 68, released in December of 1968. Issue 68 from 1968. Never was the chaos maker. Uh, Justice League America appearances in this issue, Aquaman, Batman, Green Arrow, Green Lantern, Hawkman, and Superman. Never was the chaos maker. An ancient past there was once a gigantic amoeba type creature named Never Was. And all I ever wanted to do was live in peace and have fun. But he was constantly being chased by various prehistoric creatures. Never was able to find a relaxing place, but when he had one thing that he could do, he could travel forward and backward in time. Well, turns out he tried to run away from prehistoric creatures, uh, wound up in the time of the Justice League. He was spotted by Hawkman. Hawkman thought he was attacking people. While Hawkman tried to do something about it, he was easily defeated. Ran back and told the Justice League about it. Superman says, I can take care of this. Chases after the creature. Superman finds himself in the distant past during a time when the Earth's sun was red instead of yellow and made him powerless. The creature wins again, but the creature was really not trying to cause trouble anyway, is what I think the gist of the story is. Uh, the creature would then travel into the ocean, where Aquaman tried to take care of it. More battles with the GLA ensued. What will happen? Read the comic to find out. Anyway, very interesting story there, too. Some notes on this comic. This is the first issue drawn by artist Dick Dillon, taking over penciling from Mike Sikowski. Uh, Dylan would continue to draw the series until his untimely death at the early age of 50. A couple of nice cover covers on these comics. I always love the artwork on these. Very cool. You got Hawkman, Batman, Aquaman, Green Arrow, Green Lantern. There's the Chaos Maker causing some chaos. And uh, as always, some neat, uh, some neat little things on the backs. Uh, stunt and Drag Race set. Two Super Looper stunt sets. Two High Speed Drag Strips. Two in one by Aurora. 1968 Aurora, West Hempstead, New York. Pretty neat stuff. As well as the ads in the comics, not just the comics themselves. Makes it kind of fun. Look back at these. Anyway, let's get to the... My comic falling down there. 1986 top rack pack. Bust this open and see what we can get. We got Harold Reynolds right on top there. Mr. MLB Network. Let's start with panel one. All right. Get this rip going. Try to get these old rack packs open. These things were sealed up pretty good back then. All right. Panel one. We got a 1985 All Star, Daryl Strawberry, focus, or don't. All right, hold you back there then, no problem. Daryl Strawberry. All right, these go flippity floppity, and I'm not going to play the flippity floppity game here, so we'll just go with what we got. Terry Harper. Charlie Moore for the Brewers. Chris Spire. Bill Gullickson, Expos. 
Rick Mahler. Leon Durham, good player back there for the Cub. Jason Thompson, after he played with the Tigers, nice Hall of Famer there. Not real centered, but no white chips on the border. Robin Young, set him aside to sleeve him up. Bruce Benedict for the Braves. Jerry Willard. Yvonne Calderon was a promising young prospect back then. Didn't pan out. Rafael Ramirez. Frank Viola, good pitcher for the Twins back in the day. Dickie Thon. Vance Law. Uh, Johnny Ray was another young prospect back in the early 80s. Didn't pan out a whole lot. And Mike Fishlin. So that is rack number one. That's rack pack panel one. It's got a more technical term than that, but that's what I call it. We'll go to panel two. Try to get this focus to cooperate. Bobby Cox. Tippy Martinez. Pedro Guerrero. He's a pretty good ball player back in the day. Checklist. Oh, we got a Cal Ripken sighting. I always like it when I can pull a Cal, even though I've got thousands and thousands of Cal's. I'll always take another. Unless it's out of focus. There it goes. Cal Ripken. Bryn Smith, Storm and Gorman Thomas, David Green, Randy Hunt, Roy Smith, Dave Steve, the Blue Jays, Kirk Gibson, the Tigers, the year before he went to the Dodgers and Came up with a pretty big hit historically for MLB and the Dodgers. Set that aside. Wayne Krenchicki used to be a Tiger. Dusty Baker, you guys know him. He just took over to Houston Astros as manager. Good ball player back in the day. Greg Minton and Tim Hewlett. All right, let's go to panel three. Let's see what we can come up with. Alright, that one cooperated. I like it when that happens. We start off with the Harold Reynolds that we spotted right off the bat on top. Mr. MLB Network there. Checklist. Another Cal Ripken. Two Ripkins in one rack. I'll take that. All-Star. Cal Ripken. Pack Minty Fresh. Another un non-Hall non of Fame star underneath that, Keith Hernandez. I also keep the star non-Hall of Famers in separate boxes. Pardo, John Butcher, got a Vince Coleman record breaker. Most stolen bases is a rookie, Vince Coleman. Pete Rose Special, got one of the early issues of the Pete Rose Special. Set that one aside. Turn back the clocks. We're back this time. Remember those back in 77? Here they are in uh, 86. We got turn back the clock. Fernando, Steve Bouchel, Reed Nichols, another record breaker. Dwight Gooden, youngest 20 game winner in modern history. Not too shabby for Dwight Gooden. Set that one aside. Rick Waits, Bill Lasky. Tommy Herr was just watching him today on MLB Network replaying the uh, old World Series there between the Cardinals and the Brewers from 1982. Tommy Herr played in that. We've got another record breaker with most times hat coming off head while swinging a bat. Keith Hernandez. No, that's not true, but it is a record breaker. And we got John McNamara to round out today's rack pack focus back on these comics as we get ready to haul out of here hope everybody enjoyed the episode be sure to hit the thumbs up be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed i'd much appreciate it we're getting close to 250 i'm putting together my giveaway for a comic and a card together for a giveaway uh, more information to come up on that as i get closer other than that hope everybody has a great day and a great night take care and keep an eye out for the next episode of comics and cards together at last